what's up guys r13 here and let's get started shall we so today we are checking out the hgce blast impulse a p bandai unit that okay just heads up guys this is not a paid sponsor i really just enjoyed uh visiting montreal last year um specifically sap anime montreal i'm leaving the link in the description below so you guys can check it out really great guy good selection there you go Okay, so the Blast Impulse is actually one of the three variants of the Impulse Gundam. You get the Sword Impulse, you get the Force Impulse, and then you got the Blast Impulse here. This unit was released a couple of years ago with a price tag of 2,000 yen. So um, I've actually given information about the release date and the price tag of uh, the Blast Impulse here. I'm leaving the link in the description below as well for my unboxing so you guys can check it out. Okay, so it took me about two hours to build this unit here and got to admit it is actually very sturdy. It's a little bit uh, back heavy and um, it comes with uh, some extra parts as well. Okay, as for the extra parts here, you actually get two of these pieces here that you won't need at all. I believe this is for the other uh, variants here. And then you got the beam rifle here actually lost this piece here and um, thankfully I found it by chance I didn't even try looking for it it was just there <laughs> and then uh, you get uh, the shield here this is uh, the scale version if you guys watch the series um, the impulse shield actually extends and right now I actually got it on in extended mode and um, I really don't feel like uh, taking this apart um, just to save some time for this video uh, before I tend to actually make my videos too long to be exact so I'll keep it as short as possible okay and then you get the silhouette pack here um, this is uh, for transformation mode and uh, for the weapons so you get the imp, the force um, pack the sword pack and then you get the blast pack here and uh, this is the main unit um, the main flyer mode to actually attach it during transformation so my suggestion is you guys actually watch uh, the force impulse uh, Gundam C the transformation mode it shall be available somewhere on YouTube and then you get this piece here uh, the um, core fighter and you get the slot there as well so both here are, is actually compatible with a basic action piece Okay, now let's move forward and talk about the weaponries of this unit here. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the M2000F Kerberos High Energy Long Range Beam Cannon. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys by removing this piece here. Gonna let this guy lay down. And let's remove this other piece here so I can actually show you guys the exact piece. Okay, so the weaponry, uh, the high energy uh, long range beam cannon is this piece here there's two of them so practically it extends out under the arm and uh, let's remove this uh, javelin here and it actually gives you that uh, long range uh, beam cat feature there which is actually really nice and then up next is you got the quadruple missile launchers here even better <laughs> wow and then up next is you got your defiant uh, beam javelin and this one is a little bit bent I actually don't know why and it is actually kind of bendable not flimsy but bendy okay and then the next one is um, the hyper velocity rail cannon which is here actual projectile weapon so practically um, there you go it's actually quite interesting so if you actually extend it down it's actually gonna hit the V pin there and then you got your mobile shield so for this one here I actually got it extended but for the blast impulse it's actually usually not extended it's in uh, its basic form not the extended form and then you got your um, CIWS uh, cannon 
which is actually located in the forehead, I think. Or wait, no, I was wrong. It's actually located in the torso area there, which is actually quite nice. Now, uh, for the feature of uh, the Blast Impulse here, um, the color of the Blast Impulse, got your basic uh, green and blue uh, color scheme here, which is actually quite nice. Now, I really don't like um, the actual color here, uh, lighter green. I actually do plan on painting this into a more army green look or a darker green look. Okay, now, why don't we go up next for the details of the unit here. Now for the details of the units here, it's actually quite nice. Um, seam lines and nubs are located typically and there's some seam lines here in the leg area. But as you guys can see, this actually got some very decent uh, design frame. They did updated it. You get the seam line here at the leg. You get the seam line at the forearms and the nubs, but they actually didn't uh, made it in the center line. They did it in the side line, so to make it look more natural looking. Seam lines and uh, nubs at the shoulder, the typical headpiece. Back of the leg, okay. And then this is your slot here uh, for your uh, for, for the attachment. Just giving you guys a heads up. And this is the piece that uh, is needed. There you go. It's actually got a really basic uh, feature. Nubs and seam lines are well in place. Now for the shield here. Really nice design. Very basic. And then you got the cannon here or the impulse uh, pack. It got your basic seam lines there. As you guys can see, you can fix that if you want to by sealing the seam lines. Um, nubs aren't actually noticeable in certain areas they tried to put it on edge uh, like this one here and uh, this is the most noticeable one and might I suggest uh, paint the uh, thrusters here the vents okay it is actually quite nice and then I wonder what the, the master grade uh, blast impulse looks like better details I guess then you get the beam javelin there's no nubs or seam lines it's a little bit bent and then you got your uh, silhouette uh, basic form this definitely requires some painting the impulse yeah and then you got uh, your beam rifle here which I actually forget to mention at the weapons list there's some uh, nubs there basic design and then you got the um, small expendable shield which you know what I'm actually gonna show you guys how to do it how to take it apart oops okay it's actually very very easy as uh, you guys can see <laughs> that's it Okay, um, what's next? The, actually, <laughs> actually, I just I'm gonna show you guys how uh, to convert this into the flyer mode, and uh, I'm actually I actually got the manual here right beside me. Yes, I'm cheating. <laughs> okay, so um, let's see here. Okay, it's not gonna be perfect, but uh, hmm. Okay, and there's the slot there. Okay, so there's this uh, notches here, and there's some. So all you have to do is slide this in, and there you go. Wow. Okay, it's not perfect, <laughs> but. Uh, this is the flyer mode so when it's transforming this is this gets sent out of uh, the Minerva to combine together okay 
Now uh, let's move on to the articulation test, shall we? Okay, for the articulation test, gonna be very simple. Let's remove this piece here. Now, so this uh, silhouette here, it is supposed to be able to move. I actually, hmm, I'm missing something here. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, this is technically supposed to, uh, supposed to move, if I remember correctly, but for some reason it's stuck right now. But the thrusters partially move, not because it wants to, it's a little bit loose. Okay, now for the impulse mode, you got the uh, articulated parts here, really good ones. And uh, you guys saw a piece that uh, I'm going to have to secure later on, properly. Okay, that will have to wait. Okay. Oops. Okay, you get the you get really good articulation here, and this is actually um, a poly cap. And then you get a handle on this side uh, for uh, your weapon. There's another latch there, so you can actually do some basic customization. Okay and here you go and then now the next part is uh, the impulse itself so the impulse actually got uh, some really good articulation when i was building it um, the headpiece actually have a 360 degree turn this is not the poly cap part of the piece and then you got the shoulder really good articulation as well oops and then double jointed really nice good range of motion and then for the waist here that's a poly cap there now it's actually very solid it looks like it's actually it is easy to remove now if it's loose my suggestion is go get a clear uh, nail polish just uh, that put it inside there to make it more stiff the way you want it if you want it to be uh, more step okay that's uh, the range of motion for the waist and uh, for the uh, skirt the way um, back skirt doesn't move there's a latch there for your beam rifle where is that beam rifle okay there it is there's that piece there so there you go. For the side skirt, it's uh, it moves. Poly cap there. Now there's actually a slot here for your basic action base. And so far it can bend. And the feet, as you guys can see, can transform. The feet actually got some uh, decent range of motion. And uh, it can actually do a split, so it's not a ball joint, it's a poly cap there. So it's actually quite nice. Okay, why don't we put the unit back together again and I'll give you guys my final thought. Okay, there you have it guys. I actually uh, put it back together again and um, put it in uh, its fighting mode with the... Uh, cannons out <laughs> it's actually really easy now my suggestion is is uh, if you're actually uh, gonna put it back put it in this uh, form uh, remove uh, the pack which is actually really easy to do and um, just slide it in and remove the fin as well um, because when I was putting it back uh, putting it in its uh, current form the fin flew away thankfully it wasn't that far just a few feet okay so um, is this unit worth getting definitely the problem is is uh, this is AP Bandai so if you guys get the extra funds might as well get it whenever you get the chance um, it's actually worth getting really good articulation nubs and seam lines uh, are the norm for high grades this one included but it is easily fixable. I do plan on painting this unit in the future with a more darker color scheme. 
Um, but at the moment, I actually got other projects. So I'm going to put this as uh, one of the lists. I even actually got myself some uh, decals. And I think I got the wrong one due to the fact that this is for the first season <laughs> of uh, Gundam Seed. Okay, so worth getting. Decent articulation. Really good details. Nubs and seam lines um, are well hidden except for the... Uh, forearm and uh, shoulder area and part of uh, the right um, the striker like uh, the blast imp Ugh. the blast uh, pack uh, blast silhouette pack okay uh, that's all the time that I got guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to click that subscribe button that like button um, have a good day good night afternoon wherever you are this is R13 signing out and remember have fun relax and enjoy that is Gumpla